The IPMT function allows us to calculate what portion of a monthly payment on a loan is interest. So using the information we have in front of us, which is that there's a loan of £10,000, interest rate of 9.99%, with 12 payments, we've got a monthly payment of £879.11, which over the year with interest is £10,549.35. Well, we know that the monthly payment is £879.11, but what we want to know is, for each monthly payment, how much of that £879.11 is interest. So, to do that, we'll use the IPMT function. So, it equals IPMT, open parentheses, and as you can see, Excel is asking us for some information. The first thing it wants to know is, what is the rate? So what is the annual interest rate for this loan? Well, the interest rate is 9.99%, so we're going to select C3. Now, because I'm going to do this formula once and then autofill it down, we need to make sure that this cell is an absolute reference so it doesn't change. So to do that, on the Mac, it's Command and T, or if you're using Excel on Windows, it's the F4 key. And just make sure you've got the dollar sign in front of the C and in front of the, th the number 3 and that will then lock it into position when we uh, autofill down. Now because it's an annual interest rate we need to divide it by 12 because there's 12 payments so we'll just do uh, C3 divided by 12 for the interest rate press comma and now it's asking for the period of payment in this case it's the first period so we're going to select E3 which is payment 1 we're not going to put an absolute reference there because as we scroll down we need it to change to payment 2, 3, 4, etc. So we'll just put E3, press comma, and now it's asking for the number of payments. Well, it's an annual, it's a, sorry, it's a one year loan, so there's 12 payments. Again, because we're going to autofill, but we need this to remain where it is, just uh, change it to an absolute reference. So it's Command T on the Mac or F4 on a Windows uh, base machine. Press comma, and now it's asking for the present value, which is £10,000. So it's C2. Again, we need to make sure it's an absolute reference. So Command T or F4 if you're on the Windows. Press comma, it's asking for future value. Will there be any value to this loan after 12 months? It's zero because after 12 months it will be paid off. And then finally, the type. And the, the type is asking, will it be paid at the beginning of the month or the end of the month? Most loans are paid at the end of the month, so we're just going to put zero. Um, if it was to be paid at the beginning of the month, you could put a one there, but most loans is at the end of the month, so it's just zero. So close parentheses, hit enter, and there we are. The first payment of this loan then from the £879.11, £83.25 of that is interest. So if I now select and scroll down to autofill, there we go. We can now see what the interest payment for each monthly payment is all the way to the last month. And there you see total interest £549.35 which is correct because from a £10,000 loan we're going to pay back £10,549.35 so minus 10000 off leaves us with 549.35 so that's how you would use the IPMT function